So, I was, I've been talking to a lot of my friends lately, um, and I do have friends, just to let you know, and I've been talking to some family members about this, and it took me a while to, you know, finally come to this decision and make a decision, because I had been, I've been, like, super lazy and unmotivated and just not, you know, wanting to do anything with my life. But I was talking to my my bud, my real brother. I no, let me rephrase that. My brother that I'm related to. I have I have other I have family I have friends that I consider like brothers or one I consider as a brother. But this one I'm talking about is an actual brother of mine, not like, not like a brother or as a brother but actual brother and he made a, a great point to me and and it's not just him that's made this point to me it's it's everyone in my life that's wanted me to you know get a job and do all that stuff now I have been doing research on this thing as of like a few like 20 minutes ago 20 30 minutes ago and I know I'm leading you guys on and on and on but the fact of the matter is, is that I want to start taking action and the two options I was weighing was, should I, should I do the thing that I love and, you know, move to New York? Because that's the, that's the overall goal for me is that I do want to move to New York, whether it's Long Island or some surrounding city like Manhattan or, you know, or Queens, or Brooklyn, or one of those cities in New York that I would, you know, want to move to in 10 years' time. Or the other option was to, you know, go to to um, to Comic-Con and get an autograph or a selfie, which would be a memory all on its own. And... It took a lot of, you know, trying to weigh all the pros and cons of ever, both situations. Now, do not misinterpret this. I still want to go to Comic-Con this year. I just won't be doing the whole, you know, the whole, you know, getting an autograph or getting a selfie or anything like that. The, the choice that I made was that I want to go to bartending school online and, and you know be able to do bartending because that was that's been my dream job for 10 plus years and I never felt followed through on you know doing research you know figuring out how much money I needed to save in order to become a bartender to go to school to do that and and it it took me you know it took me a long time to figure out I need to start taking actions to, you know, making my life better. And in doing so, that includes, you know, doing the autographs and selfies and, you know, other things at Comic-Cons, whether it's the the one that I go to pretty much all the time in my city that I live in, or going to the, possibly going to the one in, in New York in about four years from now. It's, it's these things, it's these little things in life that I need to start focusing on and being better at than what I have been in the past. And that's what my decision finally came to after, you know, deliberating for so long and not taking action. I have been doing research on, you know, how much it's going to cost to go to bartending school and, you know, figuring out how to, to become a bartender over the next, I want to say, week to 10 years, or day to 10 years, and I'm going to talk a little bit more towards, to my friends about this, and to my family, except for my parents, my parents know nothing about this, and I don't want them to know anything about this, because this is my choice, this is my decision that I made. And I need to start acting on this decision because I want to be able to make money in order to go to New York or go to Comic Cons in the future and, you know, spending money and making, you know, making money so that I can spend it on things that I really care about and love. 
for example, like going to these comic cons and getting, you know, having memories with celebrities or because celebrities are normal people. Let's just be real with that. And moving to New York and, you know, going to baseball games in New York, going to basketball games in New York, you know, hanging out with new friends that I make in New York, being a bartender in New York, all of these things, you know, going to comic cons and, you know, going to, you know, visit my family that lives up in that, that side of the world and just doing things that, you know, I normally would not do because I am a lazy SOB and I need to start taking action in everything that I do from now on. And, and thanks to my brother and thanks to my friends, I think I'm finally going to take some action and I'm going to do some more research. I'm going to look more into the whole bartending school, looking more into, you know, finding a bar that I can work at as a bar back because that's the bottom of the barrel. That's where you start out as, as a bar back and then you work your way up to a bartender. But if I go to bartending school, maybe things will, you know, maybe I'll have a little bit more experience in bartending and, you know, you know, going up a little bit farther than, than bar backing and stuff like that and becoming an actual bartender because that was the career I chose 10 years ago that I should have done 10 years ago, which I did not. When I turned 21, I could have easily become a bartender, but it's... It's, you know, 2020, and I need to start thinking about myself, first and foremost. And with all the talking I've done to a cousin, my cousin, my brother, my friends, all of that stuff, that's the most important thing I need to take away from today, is that I need to start taking action. And I have been doing a little bit of research in, you know, how the whole bartending school stuff works, how much it's going to cost me to go to do that online because that's what's important right now and all that stuff and that's what's important to me. So I'm going to start taking action in, in order to become a bartender or like the career I wanted to be when I turned 21 10 years ago. But that's just me. I don't know how I would get to this bar. I don't know any of the de those details yet. But this is, this is a stepping stone in order to get to New York. This is the first, you know, this is the first baby step in order to realize that New York's got to be a goal, the main goal over the next 10 years. And, and the only way I can do that is by following the career that I want to follow. And that's doing research about bartending school, the good, the bad about bartending, all of that stuff. That's what's important to me. I gotta do a little bit more research. I've done a little bit so far. Right, so far, it's just I gotta do a little bit more, and then maybe talk to my brother a little bit more about it, and talk to my family, and talk to my friends, and see what their input is on this whole situation. But the first step, the very first baby step I need to take, which is which I've already started, is research. And then from that research, I got to start, you know, figuring out how to pay for this schooling. And then once I get, do the schooling, you know, figuring out which bar I could work at and, you know, do it simultaneously, you know, do the schooling and applying to, to become a bar back at a, a bar, whether it's the one I go to all the time or the, the, you know, and it's it's not an easy job. Let's just put it that way. Because you have to interact with customers. And I love talking to people. I do. Even though it, it may not seem like it. Because I do, I'm only talking to camera. Which, you know, is not easy. But I do love talking to people. It may not sound like I do. But I do. And, you know. And it's just the whole process. i got to figure out what I want to do. And, and try to succeed that that goal because the overall main purpose for me is to move to New York City or new, somewhere around New York whether it's Long Beach or Long Beach that's in California Long Island or Manhattan or 
even Times Square, even though that's probably not the best thing for me. Maybe going and seeing a couple plays, you know, all that stuff that comes with New York. That's that's the that's that's what I want to do. I don't know what I would what I would take with me if I were to ever move to New York. I like to take all my clothes and all my books and movies and stuff, but and all my pop funkers, but other than that and my laptop other than that, I don't know what else I would want to take. Maybe this dresser and and some some stuff in my closet, but it's just I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know that I want to start taking action into becoming a bartender, whether it's, you know, the baby steps of doing research on the whole schooling aspect of it and, you know, applying to become a bar back, all of that stuff. That's that's what my mindset is at right now. With the help of my family, with the help of my friends. And I'm not asking you to do anything, by the way. I'm going to do all the research. I'm going to do everything by myself. It's just, I'm, I'm, when, whenever I, you know, asked, asked what do you think that I should be, they said, do whatever you think is right for you. And this is what's right for me, is to become a bartender, plain and simple. And I'm going to do everything in my power to become one. And I'm going to do everything in my power to go to, you know, Comic Cons and, you know, get selfies and autographs and stuff like that. And, you know moving to New York. So it's it's baby step after baby step after baby step and taking action every step of the way for me. And that's I'm going to do that on my own because that's the most important thing. Now, I will see you guys tomorrow with the brand spanking new vlog. You all know the drill. Have an amazing 2020. Have the best birthday you can ever have whatever age you're celebrating this year. Bye-bye.